guys, I'm back with a last minute Halloween nail art tutorial. Let's begin by applying a base coat on each nail. Then take a nude polish and add two to three coats. away some of the polish while it's still wet. As you can see I applied already a matte top coat but in the end I feel like it was too early so wait for the matte top coat until later. Next add some polish onto a piece of aluminum foil. Wait until the polish gets kind of stringy like shown here. Start to add it around the wound to give it a 3D effect. Skip this step if you are in a super hurry. with your cut until you like it. Create a very bad bruise around the wound using a purple polish. You can also use a q-tip or a sponge to create the bruises. If you have some more time you can also play around with adding some yellow or blue to make it look more realistic. Now it's the right time to add the matte top coat. This is totally optional, but I added base coat into the wound to make sure that my nails won't get stained. Add some dark red on the sides of the wound. This will look like some dried up blood. Take a classic red polish and add it into the wound. This is the fresh blood coming out of the cut. I added top coat over the blood but I wouldn't do it since it takes away from the 3D effect. And lastly, this is how I created the bruises on my fingers. I used some lip gloss and finished it off with some makeup powder. Here's the complete design and I had so much fun doing it. It was my first time doing any kinds of wounds so I know it doesn't look that realistic. I hope you still like it and I can't wait to practice this more for next year. Thank you all so much for watching and click this video to see my previous Halloween nail art tutorial. Also check out my Halloween playlist in the info box for a lot more nail art ideas. I wish you all a fun and safe Halloween. Bye!